In today's fight news, we start off with a few fight announcements. Beginning with the men's featherweight division, we have Alex Caceres taking on Sean Woodson at UFC St. Louis on May 11th. Next up at lightweight, we have Mauricio Rufi taking on Jamie Mularkey at UFC 301 on May 4th. Also at UFC 301 in Rio, we have Ismail Bonfim taking on Vince Pichel. Now for your Bellator Belfast results. Manuel Sosa puts Tim Wilde to sleep with a first round KO. Leandro Ego gets the victory over James Gallagher by unanimous decision. Fabian Edwards, the brother of UFC welterweight champion Leon Edwards, defeats Aaron Jeffrey by unanimous decision. This win guarantees Edwards a rematch with Johnny Eblen for the middleweight title later this year. Patricio Pitbull retains his featherweight title with a knockout over Jeremy Kennedy. Corey Anderson becomes the new Bellator light heavyweight champion with a win over Carl Moore by a unanimous decision. In regards to recent comments made by lightweight champion Islam Makachev, UFC superstar Dustin the Diamond Poirier had this to say. That's on him to say I don't deserve the title shot. I've done more the sport of mixed martial arts than he has. I can be anybody in the world, and I hope he's next. Former Bellator lightweight champion and UFC title contender, Michael Chandler had this to say to TMZ in regards to his possible matchup with superstar Conor McGregor. The official status is, we have an agreement. We are fighting this summer. We'll let the court of public opinion speculate on what the date is, but it's definitely this summer. We're giving you a window that we're going to be fighting in. But yeah, it's always been Connor and I. I've always known it was going to be Connor, even though the media or the tweets or the things being said. So it's been an interesting ride. Speaking of Connor McGregor, a recent Sports Illustrated interview had the notorious not looking too good as the fighter was seen twitching and looking very out of character. Let us know your thoughts. Do you think McGregor is on drugs or possibly going through withdrawals? In regards to his recent back and forth with superstar Colby Covington, welterweight standout Ian Machado Gary had this to say to Sky Sports. I'm going to point his face at Donald Trump and I'm going to be like, say it. Say it to your president. Don't say it to me. Say it to Trump. I want him to look into your eyes when you say I quit. In other news, bantamweight number one contender, Marab the Machine Devalishvili posted this on X. So today I did a thing. As of 3-22-24, I am a citizen of the USA. My heart will always be with my home, Georgia, but I am blessed and grateful to have had the opportunities the United States of America gave me, and I will continue to work hard to make both my countries proud. Bantamweight top five contender, Corey, the Sandman Sandhagen, had this to say to Fanatic's view in regards to a possible matchup with Umar Nurmagomedov. I am the guy giving him the platform to show that he deserves to fight for the belt next. And no, I don't really love the idea of going halfway across the world so that he can have an advantage. Former light heavyweight champion, Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill, had this to say about his future UFC 300 main event fight against current champion Alex Pereira. I'm knocking Alex Pereira the F out. Anybody who thinks he's gonna outclass me is out of their effing mind. He has one way to win this fight. MMA legend Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson had this to say on his YouTube channel. I've been told by champions at the time that once they became champion, they got $500,000 flat and it went straight into their contract. They got pay-per-view points every single time. CM Punk comes in and gets a base salary of epping $500,000? There was also potential pay-per-view bonuses and other financial incentives in his contract. I had to defend the belt 
eight effing times and I don't get this? Lastly, we have a few UFC fighters cut from the roster. Joanne Wood, Josh Parisian, Philip Linz, Carlos Candelario, and Brian Barberina.